hi guys welcome back to the new video of easy tutorials and today in this video you will see how to add a beautiful hover effect on image using html and css as you can see on my computer screen when i take cursor over this image the image divides into four equal parts then move upwards one by one and reveal the hidden content when i take cursor away from this image these images again comes down at its original position and hide the content so you will learn to make this awesome image hover effect in this video using html and css so before starting this video please hit the like button and also subscribe if you are new on my channel now let's start this video so here i have one folder and in this folder i have one image one html file and one css file now i will open my text editor which is brackets editor so this is my html file and this one is css file you can see I have already connected HTML file with CSS with this line of code. Now we will come to the body area and here we will write div class and I am writing the class name card. In this div we will add span, span open and close tag. Let's copy this class name card and write it into the CSS file. And for this one we will add width 360 pixel and height also 360 pixel background it will be black next i am adding box shadow here then margin 10 percent from top and bottom auto from left and right next position relative then i am writing border radius it will be 10 pixel now we'll come back to the folder again and open this HTML file with Google Chrome. So you can see this box over here in black color. Let's copy this span and write it into the CSS file. Before that we'll put this class name also. For this span we'll write height 100% and left it will be zero in the background we will add image so i am using url and the image file name position it will be absolute we will add width also it will be 100 percent now you can see one image on this box let's come back to the css file again and copy and paste it again here we will write in the child one for this one we'll add Z index 10, width 25%, and remove the width from here. That's it. Reload the web page, and you can see this image only for 25% of width. Now just duplicate this one three times so that we will get four span. And come back to the CSS and duplicate this code. And here we will write 2, 3, and 4. So we have for a span for the second one we will write width 50 percent for third one 75 percent and last one it will be 100 percent and zlinux we will change 9 8 and 7 let's reload the web page now here you can see a single image which is actually four parts of one image next we will add hover effect for that just copy this one and here we will write hover so when we take cursor over this card we'll add transform translate y minus 100 percent transition 0 0.5 seconds let's reload the web page and when we'll take cursor over this card you can see this complete image is moving upward by 100 percent but all the parts are moving at same time so we have to add some delay and here we'll copy this one and write ns child 1 to select the first span and for the first one we'll write transition delay so it will be 0 0.3 seconds and let's duplicate it make it 2 and here delay 0.2 second now for the next one transition delay is 0.1 second 
and for the last one transition delay is zero that's it let's reload the web page and you can see these all four parts are moving one by one right now it is moving very fast so we'll come back to the css and we'll change the value so here we'll write transition one second and delay 0.8 0.6 and this one 0.3 let's see again so now it is moving very slow so that you can see it clearly that all blocks are moving one by one when i take cursor away from this card you can see all images parts comes down at same time so again we have to add some delay while coming down so come back to the css file and here we will write transition one second and in this span we'll add transition delay 0 let's copy and paste it here it will be 0 0.3 second and for the next one 0 0.6 seconds and this one 0 0.8 seconds let's reload the web page and you can see these images moving upward one by one and again coming down one by one so this hover effect is working nice next we have to add some content also so just come back to the html file and here we will create one div and the class name i'm writing content so in this div we'll add one title so i'm using h2 so the title is easy tutorials channel let's add some text in p tag subscribe easy tutorials youtube channel to watch more videos on website designing digital marketing and graphics designing let's copy the class name content and write it into the css file here we'll write color it will be white and text align center and let's add some padding 80 pixel and 20 pixel width 100%, height 100% and box sizing border box. Let's reload the web page. Now you can see this content is hidden. When I take cursor over this card, these images moves upward and reveal the content. Now come back to the CSS and here we'll write content and P for the text. So color will be triple nine. Now you can see gray color for this text. After this P will add one link also. So I'm using a href and the link text is read more. Here we'll write content A width 100 pixel and uh, text decoration it will be none border radius 50 pixel and border 1 pixel solid and white color display it will be block and we'll add margin auto padding 10 pixel color white let's reload the web page Now you can see one button after this text. Right now you can see this content is not moving. We have to move the content according to the image movement. So we'll come back to the CSS and here in content we'll add transform translate y 100% and transition 2 seconds. Now we'll write card hover, then content. Just copy this one, transform and write it here. Translate Y, it will be 0%. Let's come to the card also and here we'll write overflow hidden. 
then reload the web page. Now you can see the content is also moving according to the image movement. It is going up with the image and when image comes down, it goes down. So this was very easy to add this type of effect on your website using HTML and CSS. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section and don't forget to like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching this video.